Hey everyone, it's Sam Kai from Enterprise DNA here. Okay, so I want to show you something quite specific on budgeting today. And it's it's there's a little bit to it, a little bit to it. There's it's not um, it's not super easy. You gotta understand a few things, but I guess I wanted to show you the potential. I mean, if you can get your head around this, it really opens up some pretty effective analysis um, and enables you to automate some of the insights that you might want to uh, might want to extract in the future. So we're going to dive into how you can create seasonal budget allocations or seasonal budgets rather, but do it in an automated automated way. So I'm not, you know, just. Uh, I, I, I probably I'm guessing they're out there you know so there's probably some very convoluted budgeting and uh, and forecasting mechanisms that are going on within organizations you know just from ones that um, I've seen heard of and been involved in you know it's, you could overcomplicate something that really is you know does, doesn't need to be and um, you can pretty effectively within Power BI extract forecasts and budgets and benchmarks etc you know just by into, uh, interweaving some logic into your formulas and I'm going to show you how, how you can do that uh, and, and in a relatively automated way um, and then you know you don't have to um, recreate things or, or reinvent the wheel every year or every quarter or whatever whenever you whenever you decide to um, you know create some budgets etc now the other thing about budgets right is that usually they're never uniform you're always going to have some sort of seasonality impact now, what I you know, believe is, is 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 fine in a lot of cases. Well, you can you can get that seasonality impact from just looking at historical information. Using historical information, I mean, um, unless something really is changing up in your business, historical information is going to give you a seasonal impact in in a, in, in, in a way that is going to be sufficient to get what you want. So that's what we're going to do uh, with this formula here. Now, this is part of a uh, of a webinar that I ran called Advanced um, Budgeting Insights. Uh, th that was part of the Enterprise DNA webinar series. What I'll do is I'll leave a link um, below to the entire session um, if you want to watch it but um, you certainly certainly spend some time watching that uh, if, uh, if you're doing some sort of budgeting forecasting benchmark type analysis because I run through from start to finish you know how to build this model and all of the different elements that go into it because there's a lot um, and budgeting is some of the harder stuff that you can do in Power BI um, and I really showcase it from start how you actually can build up from you know relatively simple model into you know something that showcases some pretty advanced results but what I'm going to do is I'm going to really focus on this formula here I'm going to really focus on product budgets how how can we create some um, uh, budgets out of nothing you know just out of historical information um, and how can we uh, make sure that we have the impact of seasonality baked into those numbers okay so basically basically what we need to do right is if we need to create some budgeting information with seasonality well we need to mash together the results by let's say by month right because month's going to take in you know elements like summer or Christmas or 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 promotions that you run over certain time frames so if you go by month and by product so if you jam those two those two dimensions together you're going to get um, results or you're going to get results that obviously are going to be broken down by product but you're going to have um, by product and by month okay and that's going to bring in the seasonality impact so what I've done is um, I've created a table so what you can do is you can create a table by utilizing this icon up here right so this data this table didn't exist right this this table isn't from Excel it's not from a database we're going to recreate our budgets automatically by formula and I'm going to utilize this new table feature here and so within this new table feature what you can do is you can write formula you can write table functions within um, within the DAX with the DAX language that bring these tables that, that create these tables and so what I've done is I have used add columns so what add columns asks you to do is, is it says okay well tell me um, tell me some columns that uh, you want to bang together and in this case you know you you can uh, you can actually just use one column but in this case I'm using cross join to bang together the product um, ID and the month name it, so as I mentioned that's going to um, give us by every single product by month etc 
And so what I've done is I've utilized uh, summarized columns. These are just other, uh, these are actually other table functions. It's amazing. Within this one formula, we're actually using four different table functions. So, that, so that's, that's how, um, how crazy effective uh, you can get all this information you know, in such an effective way. Uh, get all of this information into into tables into formats that you can analyze it's, it's, it's really quite crazy um, so I've used cross join and I've banged together say the product ID and the month name so that's essentially what that is doing but we need to go and actually get some results right how are we going to create our budgets well uh, what you can also do and this is what add columns does is if we didn't have add columns we could have just created a table that just showcased say this column and and this column uh, bang together so we could have just done that but obviously we want to have um, our results we want to have our budgets and so what I've done is add columns allows you to add um, columns of information in this case I'm adding 2018 um, budgets and so you'll see there I've got the column name 2018 budgets and within that I'm putting a result and so what I'm doing is via calculate I'm going and counting up how many sales I've made in 2017 so total sales as a, as a function is just a simple function that is calculating total sales in 2017 and I've added I've said we're going to grow by seven and a half percent so for every product across every single month we are going to forecast or project the budget forward which is going to be the sales from the prior year plus seven and a half percent so that's basically it that is how you can automatically get um, some product budgets with some seasonality baked in because you've got to think that this total sales is just picking up the sales the year before so if there was so if there's a general dip in the wind uh, well I've got to be careful because there's <laughs> different seasons but say in the middle of the year okay so the North American summer so say for instance so let's just say let's just say sales go up in the middle of the year um, in the North American summer um, you know you're selling selling goods to people on holidays etc well that impact is going to be showcased in these numbers because you're going to um, we're only just going and grabbing the year before right and um, uh, and and then we're adding a seven and a half percent increase on that. Okay, so that's how you could do it. Now you could get even more complex in here. Uh, you know, I've showcased a way where you can actually go and average up um, historical information over various different years or quarters, etc. You know, you could actually utilize that in this this um, this pattern as well. You know, there's there's there's, there's really um, you know not too much difference there. It's just it's just a matter of you'd have to um, sub in a different measure instead of just this simple total sales. But similar sort of concept, right? Okay, now uh, so this is so this actually um, this table became part of uh, this model here, and remember this table didn't actually exist. So all of a sudden I've got some sales here that are going to constantly tick over as as we move through days in the year, and I'm going to be comparing them to my budgets and my forecasts that I've created that have all the different aspects of um, what budgets and forecasts should have, uh, and then that's how we then can create these visualizations, comparing, making comparisons. Um, showing deviations, showing outliers. Why is why is there being why are there any changes to the data? You know what what, what is actually causing the impact um, or, or causing the insight that we're seeing in our data? So you know so lots of great things can come from creating um, you know tables like this in an automated way. And the great thing about it is it, it is automated, right? So you know if there was changes, if there um, you know if there if there was impacts to historical data, you know it would all filter through, and that and that's the effective thing. And that's what's so effective about it, sorry. Okay, so uh, what I'll do, so just a reminder, you can, if you want to watch the entire um, session, I'll leave a link in the description below, and um, certainly worthwhile. Uh, there's, um, you know, there's there's so much you can learn just about budgeting, and, 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 and all, uh, a lot of, you know, visualization, meter branching, all these different things I, I, I went through in the session. Um, and I also went through this particular um, element, or this particular uh example as well so 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 really a really good one to review um, if you want to actually have a play around with this one um, you can at the showcase page the enterprise DNA showcase page so certainly check check that out you can actually utilize the live demo you can have a play around yourself with with the actual um, with with the model and, and see you know see what insights you can you can actually achieve and extract um, from information like this so so really recommend that as well Okay, so I'm going to round that off. Um, you know, plenty to learn there, plenty to review. Um, you know, lots of different ways that you can utilize this ultimately. So um, you know, try and try and learn this technique and bet it in your mind, and um, I'm sure you'll be doing some great stuff. Okay, all the best, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Cheers, bye.